Hi everyone, I'd like to go over how to determine the charge on an ion. I'll break this into four different categories, both metals and nonmetals. We'll start by talking about representative metals like magnesium. Representative metals are part of the group A metals in these two columns and generally in this column as well. Magnesium is here in group 2 and it's a quick shortcut to know what the charge is going to be. That'll be a plus 2. The reason it'll be a plus 2 is because 12 wants to be like its nearest noble neighbor, neon, 10. It's going to lose 2 electrons. When it's losing two negative charges, it will itself become positive. You can use the periodic table to predict its charge that way. Very similar for non-metals. Non-metals are to the right of the staircase, and sulfur is here. It is two columns away from its nearest noble neighbor, argon. 16 wants to be like 18. It will gain two electrons. When it gains negatives, it will itself become negative and will become a negative 2. Transition metals are located in group B here in the periodic table and cannot be predicted what their charge will be because they're too far away from their nearest noble neighbor to be counted on. So iron 3 is going to use a Roman numeral. Transition metals get Roman numerals. The Roman numeral tells you what the charge is on the ion itself. That's when you have the name already. If you do not have a name, for example for copper, you'll need to figure out what the charge is through some logic. You will first identify the ion that is next to your metal and also figure out how many of them you have, in this case two chlorides. Next what I'll do is consider how many copper ions I have, if you have just one of those. One of these had to balance both negatives. That means that this had to be plus 2. In this compound, I have a copper 2 ion. The last way to determine a charge is by memory. We have memorized that acetate is C2H3O2 negative 1 and there are not any good patterns for memorizing the charges of these polyatomic ions and so that work needs to be done. Remember that ites have the same charge as their parent eight ions as well.